What's up boys, welcome back to another banger video. And uh, as you guys know, I've been hiding something from y'all. In the last intro I shot about the quad, I had to redo it because I showed, oh, can't show it yet. I showed the Suron in the background. And this has been a process. I've gotten the frame powder coated. I got a new battery. I've gotten a lot of new things for this bike, a lot of new upgrades. Nothing like too crazy besides the frame being powder coated because most of this bike was almost complete before I took it all apart. This bike has been down and out for a long time now. I'm fine. I'm so stoked to finally get it back running. It's been about three or four weeks since I last uploaded a video about the Saron, and I didn't even have my own battery at that point. I was using Christian's battery, and it's actually a 60 volt. I claimed it was 72. That's my bad. I thought it was. But yesterday I finally got my 72 volt battery in and this is the compact one, not the, the twin tower thing I had. So yeah, like I was saying, this bike has had a lot of work done to it. I'm super stoked to show you guys. So without further ado, let me show you. Don't act like, oh, you don't know the vibe. 10,000 hours I really put in the time. Where the fuck my big face? Oh, fuck a nine to five. They want me to sign on the dotted line. Hold up, it's a disgrace. This thing absolutely came out beautiful. I mean, it is fully complete Suron build besides moto wheels. Don't come at me for that. I'm broke from building this thing. I, I mean, I'm absolutely $0 and buying the quad, $0. This thing is, I mean, freaking so sick, dude. The flake in the powder coat in the frame, super clean. If you guys can see that through the camera, I mean, it's, it's absolutely freaking gorgeous and i'm not copying carson this is not nardo gray this is 7-11 gray i guess for all the powder coat guys out there so this is completely different tone of gray it may look the same on camera but i mean i promise you not this powder coat brings out the the titanium bolts super well i'm missing one right there just seeing that now a lot of people say that you can't tell that the 60 volt and 72 volt are different i i can i'm gonna i'm gonna do a test run between this one and christian's 60 volt to my 72 volt i can totally tell a difference put down in the comments whose bike is cleaner mine or christian's over there i mean i'm, I'm gonna say mine of course i'm gonna say mine but i want to go in full detail of all the parts i have on it the from the brakes forks you know all the inside parts i may be off of my price but it sits around 13 15 grand i would say maybe 12 but but yeah this thing is absolutely beautiful put down in the comments what you guys think of it all right boys i'm gonna go in full detail of what i have on this bike and starting off with the suspension we got the ext rear shock this thing runs about i think 1100 1200 bucks and that is probably one of the best upgrades i've gotten for this bike just because i like to jump launch things you know do things that a lot of people kind of don't do besides like street ride and i will say the 500 pound spring is a little overkill for this bike um, if you're not jumping it or whatever the case may be. Moving up to the front forks, we uh, we have the Fox 40s on this thing. We have the four coins in it to stiffen it up and 120 PSI in them. Fox 40s have been great. I love the Kashima coat on it. It's one of the main reasons why I went with them. Just because one, everyone has them. They have knowledge behind them and the Kashima coat looks badass on these bikes. Into the brakes, we have the TRP Evo Pros on this thing. One, I know I said the rear shock was probably the best upgrade. Nah, these are. These things are definitely needed, especially if you have power upgrades. Even if you don't, they make, they make stoppies really so much easier to go along with. Running through this quick because I want to get to riding this bad boy. We went ahead, recent upgrade, we got the BAC 4000. E Moto Bros absolutely killed it with the Egg Rider display. That thing was a long awaiting purchase for me and I waited so long, it was it was unnecessary. I should have bought it way sooner. Like I mentioned before, we literally just got this uh, 72 volt compact chai battery. Thing's absolutely amazing. We went ahead and put on this new seat cover. I think it was like a hundred bucks, I think. You know, like I said, it's gonna vary between like 12 and 15 grand, I believe. Because there's a lot of nicks and things I'm gonna miss, like the King Creek headset, this uh, this headset stem right here, the Warp 9 headset stem. And then moving down into, back into the suspension side, the linkage, all the prickly parts uh, with the, I guess the high performance um, bearings in them. And uh, yeah, this thing, the bolt kit, the tie bolt kit, like this thing has a lot of upgrades that I probably will miss. Got, like I said, we have the bolt kit. We have a lot of little things. I mean, we have pegs. We got a new, we have like, I swear I probably have like 300 bucks in just rotors because I got shit all over them. Like every time I cleaned them, I either got SC1 or something on them because I couldn't stop for like three days. And uh, 
I got I got the Warpline sprocket, the chain conversion kit. There's a, like I said, there's a lot of stuff on this bike that I'm probably gonna miss. But uh, but yeah, you guys can vary. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Like I said there is probably a few things I did miss on it, but for the for the most part, I got all the big things in what I said right there. And uh, yeah, I'm just super stoked on how this bike turned out. Just waiting for moto wheels and this thing will technically be fully built. All right, boys, I wanted to do a mile an hour test compared to my 72 volt to Christian 60 volt Suron. So we're gonna go up the street right here and uh, try to see what we can hit. And I, I have a feeling probably this is like 60, I would say, wouldn't it? Uh, maybe, maybe with my gearing 60, we're gonna pull it up on the phone, screen record it like we did with the Honda and uh, see what we can get. All right made it across the street i don't know if this is far enough though like from there to there it has to be that's plenty and it's going uphill we'll do one uphill and downhill just to see maybe it's a couple mile an hour difference for the speedometer oh let's see that's pretty accurate before i go what do you guys think the 72 volts gonna hit three two one. Oh my god holy shit <laughs> i didn't even i couldn't the brakes were gonna overheat oh my gosh <laughs> dude i think i read 62. i think that's reading wrong i don't i don't know so we're actually gonna try to zoom in on the second run we'll go back down the hill and see what we hit but it said i believe it said 62 which is freaking hauling butt 62 miles per hour is hauling bro i don't know if that's right i have it set to my wheel size but it says 62 so i'm just gonna run everything off this the phone is absolutely incorrect it said i went like 28 miles per hour which obviously that's not right so something's messed up with that we're gonna run it one more time back down the hill and see what we can hit mm. all right three two one go oh i got the same thing about 62 Dude, that's so fast. And especially with this chain driven, it sounds like it's gonna explode, dude. We'll park the, the Ron right here for now. You can see gr that grill. I got a black grill for my truck. Looks so much better. That's the old one. Well, it, it's, a, it's a story. That's for another time. Go ahead and pull Christian's bike out. Now, I don't know if this is fully charged, but who cares? We'll just give it the test. And his bars are, oh my God. God, these things are tweet, dude. Hit these things back straight. Here we go. We're to the bottom. Dude, his egg rider's like tilted. Can I tilt it back? Oh, I just restarted it. Oh, we're good. All right. Here we go. Up the hill from the same spot. Three. Try to keep your eye on the egg rider. Three, two, one. Maybe the same thing. Oh no, it's, oh, it's way slower. It's like 12 mile an hour slower. It said 52. Did I say 60? Or, I, my math is off. Just say, just say about 10 miles an hour slower. I think mine was 62. His was 52 or 60 somewhere. Eight to 10 miles an hour slower. That's a big difference, dude. That, I mean, that's a hell of a difference. Like I said, a lot of people say they can't tell a difference between this, a 60 volt battery and a 72. I sure can because that thing is so much slower. Wow. Christian's going to go buy a 72 volt after this. Maybe it was because we're going uphill. I have no idea. I didn't, I didn't read no different. I ran 60 up the hill and 60 down the hill. So let's see what we can get in uh, his. Three, two, one. The takeoff is so much slower. 54, 55, I believe, somewhere in that range. Still, dude. 50, 54 miles an hour compared to like 62 or whatever I hit. That's gnarly. That's a hell of a difference. Christian, your bike's slower than shit. All right, boys, we're back at the house. We're uh, we're all we're all done with the speed run test and showing you guys this beautiful run we have here. The quad videos are absolutely blowing up. I appreciate everyone that's watching those and showing some love. Let's get some love for the Suron build. 
And uh, we're gonna get more content for the Saron. I Like I said, I know this video is really short. You guys are like, Mo, we wanna see you ride. And we just don't wanna see you talk about the Saron for 12 minutes. Had some other things going on this weekend. Unable to go ride this weekend. And I didn't wanna go back to Chase and Haley's house just because you guys seen that so much. But I really do appreciate everyone that shows love on all these videos, no matter what it is. So on that note, we'll catch you guys next time. Put something in the comments if you guys really like the Saron. And uh, more Saron content, more content coming. Really appreciate all you guys. Please don't act like oh, you don't know the vibe. Ten thousand hours I really put in the time. Where the 